For more than 100 years, Moody's has consistently delivered value to the capital markets. 2021 was no exception. Last month, we reported strong results for 2021, exceeding our financial targets that we introduced at our Investor Day event in 2018. Since that time, Moody's revenue has increased by approximately 12% on an annualized basis. The adjusted operating margin has expanded by more than 200 basis points to approximately 50%. And the annualized adjusted diluted EPS has grown by approximately 18%. These financial achievements reflect not only our ability to execute on behalf of our customers, but also highlight our disciplined approach to expense management and capital allocation. Our historical results demonstrate the resilience and growth potential of our business. As we look to the future, we believe there is a significant opportunity to unlock even greater value through our integrated risk assessment strategy. This is reflected in the new medium-term financial targets that we released on February 10th of this year. Over the next five years, we announced that we expect Moody's to achieve at least 10% revenue growth on an average annualized basis and adjusted diluted EPS to increase in the low double-digit percent range. These targets are underpinned by our projection for MA's revenue to grow in the low to mid-teens percent range and MIS revenue to increase in the low to mid-single-digit percent range. In addition to establishing these medium-term targets, we are refreshing MA's financial reporting structure to provide greater insight into its performance. As of this quarter, Research Data and Analytics, or RDNA, and Enterprise Risk Solutions, ERS, have been realigned into three distinct businesses. First, Data and Information, comprises data feeds and data applications, both previously in the RDNA line of business. This includes our Orbis database and provides customers with vast, unmatched data sets on economies, companies, commercial properties, and financial securities, just to name a few. Second, research and insights. This consists of research, economics, and business analytic products from RDNA and expected to fall frequency models from ERS. And it provides customers with models, scores, and expert insights. And last, Decision Solutions integrates capabilities and offerings from data and information and research and insights through software and workflow tools. It combines elements from both former MA business lines, specifically products from RDNA, including commercial real estate, KYC, and structured finance, in addition to ERS solutions in credit assessment and origination, insurance, RMS, as well as risk and finance. Our robust financial results and growth outlook are bolstered by our long-standing philosophy around strategic capital allocation. First, we identify opportunities for organic and inorganic investments in high growth markets that enrich the ecosystem of data, analytical solutions, and insights required to serve our customers. After investing, we return capital to our stockholders through share repurchases and dividends. Since 2018, we've returned more than $4 billion to our stockholders, comprised of approximately $1.6 billion in dividends and more than $2.4 billion in share repurchases. Notably, 100% of the capital return to stockholders was funded through free cash flow generated from our global operations. Capital management at Moody's extends beyond prudent allocation. We are thoughtful about our leverage and liquidity levels, as well as maintaining a strong balance sheet. Over the last two years, we have enhanced our capital position and reduced our cost of debt by structuring a well-tiered maturity schedule and extending our maturity profile. With our most recent 40-year note issuance in November of 2021 and the subsequent bond refinancing, we extended our weighted average maturity to approximately 15 years and reduced our weighted average coupon to approximately 3.1%. We remain committed to anchoring our financial leverage around a triple B plus rating, which provides an optimal balance between lowering the cost of capital and elevating our financing flexibility. 
These actions demonstrate our commitment to being responsible stewards of capital and creating long-term value for our stockholders. Our customers are facing a broad set of interconnected and complex challenges, and we are focused on providing an integrated and holistic perspective on risk to enable our customers to navigate a rapidly changing and multifaceted risk landscape. To that end, we continue to invest organically in our people, technology, and products, and inorganically in high growth markets so that we can accelerate the delivery of insights and solutions to our customers so they can make better decisions to execute their own business and growth objectives. We expect the momentum from our investments to fortify our business in 2022 and beyond, and we are vigilant about how we allocate stockholder capital and resources, how we spend your money, grounded in the rigor of our analytical heritage and common sense. At Moody's, we are on a digital transformation journey. Over the last two years, we launched a global ERP platform in finance, enabling our teams to utilize the latest technologies to efficiently deliver best-in-class, near-real-time financial reporting and data-driven insights to stakeholders across the firm. These insights help drive sound business decisions as we implement Moody's global integrated risk assessment strategy. Aside from modern technology solutions, we're also focused on process improvement. In 2021, our continuous process improvement efforts reduced cycle time by over 500 days. In addition, in support of Moody's broader geolocation strategy, we are enhancing our operating model to develop a cost-optimized and a skills-based support structure for the organization. These and other organic investments around the firm have resulted in ongoing efficiencies and savings, generating additional capital to reinvest in our business. At the same time, we are investing in our external-facing technology platforms and products, which enable our customers to efficiently make decisions. For example, in our Know Your Customer business, we are developing new analytical tools and workflow solutions that improve our customers' lending and investment decisions. To address ESG and climate-related risks and opportunities, we introduced new innovative products, such as the ESG score indicator and temperature alignment solution, which supplement our existing offerings in MIS and MA. Finally, we launched Moody's Data Hub, a data sandbox that allows customers to access, explore, and analyze a wide range of proprietary data sets seamlessly and efficiently. Collectively, these platforms and solutions provide our customers with the tools needed not only to identify and monitor risk, but also to answer complex questions about risk, differentiating Moody's in a fragmented marketplace. At Moody's, we use M&A as a strategic tool to more rapidly expand into both existing and new risk areas in order to best support our customers' current and emerging needs. The investments we make complement areas central to our integrated risk assessment strategy, which include fortifying our ratings business and credit research, for example, our ongoing program of investing in domestic markets, and as you just heard, our multiple growth areas such as know your customer, know your supplier, ESG, and climate, commercial real estate, and cyber risk. Over the last several years, we have been busy deploying capital in fast-growing markets and have made several investments that have accelerated our presence into these markets. These investments have brought new people with invaluable skills and new products and capabilities to the Moody's family that we believe are critical to meeting our customers' most pressing enterprise workflow and risk management needs. Let me share a few highlights with you. Our acquisition of Bureau Van Dyke in 2017 solidified our position as a leader in risk, data, and analytical insight. Coupled with other acquisitions in the KYC space, our fastest growing business today, Moody's is now a market leader in financial crime prevention solutions, human trafficking analysis, and identity verification. The recent acquisition of RMS, a leading global provider of climate and natural disaster risk modeling and analytics, 
expanded our offerings to meet the growing demand for climate, cyber, and supply chain risk assessments, as well as insurance data and analytics. Together with RMS, we are actively identifying opportunities to provide a holistic set of offerings across our joint customer base, and we see significant potential ahead. And earlier this year, we announced our intention to acquire a majority stake in GCR, a leading domestic rating agency across Africa, expanding our presence in this fast-growing market. This investment complements our Moody's local strategy in Latin America, extending the reach of our critical insights into credit across a range of economies and sectors. These examples demonstrate the importance of strategic M&A in driving exceptional growth in high priority markets. Moody's has a thorough M&A investment program, which helps us to pursue investments to enhance our capabilities and solutions to better serve our customers. Those who know Moody's and those who know me know that we have been consistent for years in our approach to M&A. Our deals must have compelling industrial logic that we can easily explain. We develop and pressure test our acquisition assumptions to ensure that we build realistic P&Ls that are achievable and with clear accountability for results. We conduct thorough and efficient due diligence to make sure we really understand the businesses we are acquiring so that we can hit the ground running post-close to achieve our financial and strategic objectives. And we look for new colleagues who are aligned with our corporate mission, purpose, vision, and values to enrich our capabilities and culture. In short, the bar for M&A at Moody's is high, and we are thoughtful in deploying stockholder resources to fortify our business to support profitable, long-term growth. At their core, acquisitions are about people, and we take a thoughtful approach to ensure that new teams quickly feel at home here at Moody's. We listen closely to our new colleagues and work hard to preserve each company's unique attributes, enhancing our ability to integrate efficiently and deliver on identified synergies. In recent years, as our acquisition strategy advanced, we established a central integration management office to drive the tactical integration, including prioritizing activities and facilitating alignment across the organizations. This has enabled us to thoughtfully accelerate the onboarding of personnel, commercial assets, and operations and through these collective efforts, maximize the value realized from M&A. Our clear and defined philosophy around capital management and allocation has supported our impressive financial performance since 2018, and we're excited to enhance the transparency of future public disclosures through the realignment of MA's lines of business and revenue reporting. Across the firm, we'll remain focused on introducing new and exciting products and solutions to help our customers identify, manage, and measure risk, as well as unlock opportunity while balancing the needed investments with capital return to our stockholders. In summary, we believe we are in an excellent position to deliver on our integrated risk assessment strategy, all while driving sustainable value creation and ensuring financial resilience.